Hi everyone. Today I will share with you a secret of frame maker table paragraph styling paragraph tags. Now this is about formatting a frame maker table. Let's create a table first. We go to table, insert table. I select three columns, three body rows, one heading rows, table continuation. And as a table format, I select border blue. These are the kind of default uh, table formats. I click insert. Okay. Now, here I have the headers. And here are my body text, right? Now the question is, where did, where does all this uh, body formatting, body text, cell text formatting come from? Because if you look at the table designer, uh, there are all kinds of features here that you control like alignment, where the table should start from, title, table margins, cell padding, ruling, shading, direction. But did you notice that there is nothing about fonts and sizes about, in other words, the paragraph styling of the uh, content of each cell. So where, where, where does this information come from? The table, frame maker table remembers, obviously, uh, the cell body, as well as here, the heading cells, the formatting of the uh, column headers. So it remembers it, even though you won't see it in the table designer. Now, this here is the secret. What frame maker table engine, let's call it, is remembering is the paragraph formatting of the first row. This is kind of strange. Not second, not third. And I will prove it to you. Let's select the second row and bring out paragraph designer. Let's change the formatting to uh, to uh, another font family. Let's say GG and let's make it red. Now I apply it, right? Increase the size to 14. I'm not even updating the style, just applying like a format override, right? And then I go to table designer, right? So style is border, border blue, and let me update the style, right? Now updating the style, maybe you're thinking it's remembering the change uh, we have made to the second row uh, t text. But now let's reinsert the same border blue format and let's see what happened the header is the same the first row oh second row third row see it didn't pick up the change that we have made in the second row control triple click to select the table i push delete now let's make the same change to the first row content. How do we do that? We go to paragraph designer, right? Cell body, style is displayed. And family, let's select courier new. Let's select uh, again, red color. Let's select bold and apply. See? I didn't even update the cell body style yet. I, I just applied it as an override. Then I go to table designer and I update the style. Now frame maker table remembers what we did to the first row content. 
So let's recreate the table. Table, insert table. Again, table format border blue, insert. Now let's check the headers by a dummy text. And let's check the first row. All right. First row converted. Second row converted. Isn't that amazing? From now on, everything will be read courier because of the change we have made to the first row of the table. And that's what FrameMaker table remembers. Write the secret down somewhere. It may come in handy when formatting a FrameMaker table uh, drives you crazy. If you ask questions why the change in the formatting did not pick up, probably because you made the change to a non-first row of the table. You have to make the changes to the first row. Uh, if you have any questions, ask it in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.